Welcome back to Daybreak Saturday. Patty, can you see that? Oh, Westminster. Woo. Pet Pals Airways. <laughs> oh, I didn't see hey, that. Hey, Captain Louie. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Oh, Captain Louie. Uh -huh. oh. Frontier Airlines got nothing on this when you got Louie on the side of a plane, oh, right? Oh, yes. Oh, thanks to Ambassador. We'll be going to Westminster. Paul Petit will be going as well. And Slatko, the producer, is going. And uh, lots and lots of dogs. We'll bring it back and show it to you. So yeah, instead of an awe pet moment of the week, I thought we'd do. Oh, we thought we'd do this. You surprised me. Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Louis, look at that. Captain you're on TV, Louis, yep. and you're gonna be on TV in just about two seconds. So get okay. ready, buddy. Now, uh, so we're talking about actually a very serious issue. We're talking about uh, some things that are making it into our dog treats and our dog foods. Uh, dog food, that is. Uh, recently, two makers of pet treats recalled uh, some of their products. Nestle Purina Pet Care has taken a wagon train and Canyon Creek Ranch brand dog treats off the market, while Milo's Kitchen is recalling its chicken jerky and chicken grillers home style dog treats. Patty Spittler of Pet Pals TV with veterinarian Dr. Kathy Alanovi joining us. Yes. And uh, something I found online, uh, since two, uh, in 2011, a thousand dogs either became ill or died because of something that made it into the dog food. Isn't that incredible? And I'm going to shut up. We're going to start with it. <laughs> but it just makes me so mad because it's scary. And then I get mad and I go, I bought it because it has a cute picture of a dog. I didn't know this. I'm learning from Dr. Kathy. Yeah. So don't feel bad if, you, if you're doing the wrong thing because we don't know. It doesn't say it's made in China. It looks like it's made it in America. Looks like yeah. It's written in English. Okay. Go. And it looks good. <laughs> Makes it mad. And so, and you know, then, then we've got the little cute little strips that have a whole bunch of byproducts in here and corn and sugar three times in here and a little bit of bacon flavoring. And this I wouldn't, yeah. Um, so you're absolutely right about the jerky treats. And what's interesting is that they were recalled for adulteration of drugs, mm -hmm. supposedly never finding the reason why dogs were dying. But... Anaphylactic shock, which is a crazy allergic reaction to those drugs, yeah. causes the symptoms in humans and animals that we're seeing. So oh. perhaps we really did find the reason that the jerky, jerky treats were killing animals. But it's in everything. It's not just the jerky treats, and that's what's scary. We're made to think that these foods are great and healthy, and it's beef flavored. And if you look at the flavored. ingredients, flavored, that's exactly. The, yeah. So the, the ingredients, ingredients on the this one is corn meat and bone meal it doesn't tell you the species so it could be a really nasty spe or it could be our euthanized dogs and cats from an animal shelter mm -hmm. fda report in about 2008 found evidence of phenobarbital euthanasia solution in pet food wow. so then we go on down and then animal fats in here again it doesn't tell you the species of okay. the animal why fat. don't they tell us they don't have to they're not regulated they don't have to they're not regulated. And so there's no that, beef red, in here. Is that a big red flag when you don't see the actual That's species? one red flag. Okay. You're absolutely right. That's one. We need to know where it's made. Mm -hmm. While we love to have everything made in the U.S., Canada would be great. I'll take treats from New Zealand. I'll take food from New Zealand. So that's great. And here um, are some tips for you, some bullet points that from Dr. Kathy gave us. Yeah, and how about that one? You can pronounce it. I guarantee <laughs> you can't pronounce most of these. There is no beef in this bag, mm -hmm. but beef flavor. You know what beef flavor is? Locally made, no. manufactured, organic, and grain-free. Grain-free. Grain now, this worries me because this is what I give my dog. I give the senior milk bones. I used to feed it, too. I did, too. My, my parents used to feed Duke, yeah. our dog, for so centuries. Wheat, first oh, ingredient, wheat bran, third ingredient, meat and bone meal. What species is that from? It comes from the rendering plant. It's the dead animals with the legs all sticking out four ways. Put it in the food. I had a client who worked at the feed co-op, and I said, do you know what goes in pet food? He says, yes, I work at the feed co-op. When the corn is gross and we can't sell it to the farmers anymore, we siphon it into the truck, we watch it ooze out the back, and off oh. it goes to the pet food company. That's what goes into pet food. So that's disgusting. Okay. Yeah. So what so, should we do? Good stuff. Good so stuff. We're look, we need to know where it's made. Okay? okay. So then we have some that has the made in the U.S. label. It can say made in Canada. I want to know where it's made. I don't want it to be a secret. How about one ingredient? This is beef heart. Beef heart. Yeah. Hey, beef heart. One ingredient. The one ingredient. I can pronounce that. I want to know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess, I'm sorry to cut you off, but is it one of those things where you get what you pay for if you spend a little extra. Oh, that's cool. That is a fabulous that's question. Cool. This bag of food is um, four pounds and it costs about $15, and four cups would serve Louie. 
So yes. you feed less because feed. They're not, they don't keep eating because they're hungry. Right. And they, so, they've gotten their protein. And then, and then the poop is this big. <laughs> and then <laughs> we talk about I love that. that. We dog owners all can relate. Yeah. Yeah, so true. that bag I just put on the floor, it takes twice as much food. Okay. And, it's and, and it's not twice as much poop. It's four to five times as much poop because it's full of fillers and it just goes on through and there's no nutrition. And what about the pretty colors? Who's the pretty colors for? Us. They don't eat colors. Yeah. And yeah, those colors dye. are dyes and they're linked to hyperactivity, asthma. Mm -hmm. Now, Dr. Kathy also, uh, I'm there's, starting to make my food for Louie, yeah. and there's Buster, there's my Buster. kitty. Uh, it doesn't take that much effort. They think you can cook if you throw a chicken breast in, you know. So if you can make your own food for your animal and save it, it's not that, it's not more expensive either because they eat less. And really quickly, I'm sure you can tell a dog's energy when the dog is eating better. Well, it has to build up over time, doesn't it? Is that the problem? It builds up. For they the bad shed. Food. Their don't coats don't look good. Mm -hmm. They have more health issues. Okay. Spend the money on the food, not coming to see me. Okay. okay. And if you have a question for Dr. Kathy, go to our website, Louis Wright, PetPalsTV.com, and you can ask her a question as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Thank you. This is your this is your poop segment of the day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Of course, Pet Pals TV. Uh, and oh, today, yes, we have our new show. You, I got so involved with this. Uh, new show today, 9.30, with Paul Petit and myself. And Buffy has uh, some wonderful stories, too. So it's on the sister station, Miami TV 23. And, of course, PetPalsTV.com. You could go on for hours about this topic alone. Yes. C talk, talk to this Weeks, lady. Please. Okay. Please. Thank Dr. You. Kathy, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you. Patty, as always, thank, thank you. you. And we'll be right back. Stay with us.